the fourth book. Muggle Frank is dead. Right oh, what's that? Um, the invitation? Yeah. To what? To the Quidditch World <gasps> I forgot that was his book. Oh, this is when the, the Dursleys try to, like, board up their fireplace. But the Weasleys just show up anyway, and they kick the boards down, and they're like, what the fuck, guys? They destroy their living room, and they take Harry. Standard. And there are a hundred thousand wizards at the uh, Quidditch World Cup. So obviously something's gonna go wrong. <sighs> Besides no. from catching the snitch and Ireland winning. Fred and George have that bet going on with Ludo Bagman, who notorious gambler. Death Eaters attack the camp and everybody's on the run and they're all freaking out and Bobatons gets like a name drop. It's Ireland versus Bulgaria, but there are Vilas, French Vilas, I I don't why are there Vilas at the Quidditch World Cup? If it's Ireland versus Bulgaria. Because they're relevant to the plot later on, I guess. Yeah, that's the only reason really. Oh, Winky's here. Winky, I forgot I have a Winky. Yeah, she's the GM. The dark mark is Ooh. put up in the air. For some reason they think Harry, Ron, and Hermione did it did it. But then they get on the Hogwarts Express and they all get on it and they're just we're going back to Hogwarts. The safest place. Okay, so picture the sorting hat right now. Everybody, like the, the three people who are watching this. Yeah. Picture the sorting hat. <laughs> That's generous. And now picture just some dude wearing it on his head, like for normal day to day fashion. Hat to. Um, oh, Gryffindor. Oh. He had a hat yeah. like this. And decided, Very let me give that look. Like, no, let me give it life. Um, here we are. Uh, Dennis Freebie fell into the lake, and the uh, giant squid saved his life. Mad Eye Moody is defense against the dark arts professor, and the Triwizard Tournament is going to be held at Hogwarts this year. Okay, I feel like I know. It's like the first time in a couple hundred years. I want to say that. They've held this competition because students keep dying, and usually schools do not like to have competitions where students die. Bad for funding. Boba and, and Derm's oh. crying show up. They're co-ed. They're both co-ed schools. Just forget what you know about the movies. They are both co-ed schools. It's very important. And Professor Moody is doing the imperious first on his students. Lavender Brown is a squirrel. Um, Neville is doing Olympic level gymnastics. Dean Thomas is singing the national anthem. Like it's all very illegal, but they are fourteen, so they're like, haha, this is a this is a great day. I don't know. Madame Maxine and Hagrid are like shocking up. Oh the goblet of fire. Okay, so like everybody's putting their name in and they all want the glory of being like the hero and they're all kids so they're not worried about dying. Hermione is like protesting how folks write. Alright, so Floor from Cedric and Harry have been chosen for the four champ Dance. four champions. Yes. I just did some math and I am correct because I got confused. <laughs> Should Rita happen. Skeeter. Rita Skeeter is <sighs> being like the worst like TNZ reporter ever. Yeah. Sirius is like, yo, on the 22nd of November at 1 o'clock in the morning, we're gonna talk. With the dragons, which are the first task of the Triwizard Tournament, for Wizard Tournament, technically. Harry Wizard and Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> That's what the book should have been called. Battle of Dragons. Harry defeats it with, like, his broom, because the only thing he's good at is flying. And Harry is, like, a savage right now. It even says... It even says it, that he's a savage. Rita Skeeter shows up and she's like, congratulations, Harry. I wonder if you could give me a quick word. How you felt facing that dragon. How you feel now Great. about the fairness of the scoring. Yeah, you can have a word, said Harry savagely. Goodbye. And he set back <laughs> off towards the castle with Ron. I think this is when Ron like confesses his love to Floor. So the next chapter <laughs> is called The Unexpected Task, which is the Great Winter Ball, in which um, all the champions have a date and have to formally dance. 
and dress robes must be worn according to McGonagall, which means that Ron will be wearing his granny aunt's clothes. Yeah. Um, and so uh, Harry tries to ask Cho Chang, his crush of the year. It does not go well. And when he finally does ask, she's like, oh, I'm going with Cedric Diggory. Who wouldn't be going with Cedric Diggory? Ron <laughs> does go to ask Flora uh, Delcor to the ball, but it does not quite, doesn't quite go as he planned. He just fucking did it and then kind of ran away. I feel like he screams at her. He really does, yeah. Um, Don't scream at your crush, please. And he's just a dick and as stupid boys do. And he assumes that Hermione does not have a date, but Hermione is going with Victor Crumb. Ron gets offended. So then we're at the Yule Ball. Uh, Rita Skeeter makes another Rita article Skeeter that offends everyone name. because she's a has a bug Patronus. <laughs> she's a little beetle. She has an Animagus, which is a beetle. Yes. The egg and the eve. Okay. So after defeating the dragon, which all of them do, uh, they get this golden egg, which has a secret for the next task in it because Harry gave info on the dragons to Cedric. Cedric gave info on the egg to Harry, and it was kind of homosexual. <laughs> but I wanted to know. You want to take this egg in the bath with you, in yeah. the prefix bath. Yeah. Moaning Myrtle tries to hit on Harry because he's naked in a bath. But, uh, significant others to each champion get taken to the um, Black Lake and are basically petrified in a way. They're stilled and, I don't know. Yeah, so like, twice. Oh God, they were awake. <laughs> Hermione oh, got it done. <laughs> yeah. They each have one hour to go get their assigned human being and get them back from the mer people. So he saves Ron and because Flora did not make it through, um, he saves Flora's little sister. Gabriella. Gabrielle. Padfoot returns where they no, have a little twenty second, one o'clock in the morning. Okay. That's when it happened. That's when he returned. Hermione re got some hate mail. Saying, you are a wicked girl. Harry Potter deserves better. Go back where you came from, Muggle. Because Rita Skeeter decided that yeah, she read an article about them. But I don't um, know we're dating. Him and Crumb find Crouch's body in the woods. He, I think we're past that. Because, like, Harry and Crumb find Barty Crouch Sr.'s body in the woods and they have to, like, run to Dumbledore's office and be like, yo, there's a dead dude yeah. on campus. Somebody is dead on campus. And so dump and so Harry goes into Dumbledore's Dumbledore's office and then they go into a pensive in which Harry sees the trial of Barty Crouch Jr. where he well no it was it was of um Barty Crouch Jr. No, but it was of um Oh Igor Kakarov. Thank you. Um, and Barty Crouch Jr. gets named. Yes. Of who was a Dementor after the first war Death Eater. Yeah, why don't I do that? Uh, Death Damn, Eater. No. You just got aggressive. And meanwhile, you've been plenty of <laughs> well, mistakes. I've been calling Muggles the Neville. <laughs> Are you really? That's unfortunate. <laughs> um, the third task. Chapter 31. There's a space in the maze, which is arguably one of the coolest parts. Hmm. And the maze is kind of wild. The movie just kind of ignores it. Maybe they're CGI. But Speaking they're... of Sphinx, I just opened a page at the Sphinx. It is so cool. Who recited a line, a, a paragraph of information, I guess. I'm waiting. Okay. I'm waiting. Okay. <clears throat> okay. First think of the person who lives in disguise, who deals in secrets and tells not the lies. Next tell me what's always the last thing to mend, the middle of middle and end of end. And finally, give me the sound often heard during the search for a hard-to-find word. Now string them together and answer me this. Which creature would you be unwilling to kiss? Dementor. That's the answer. Uh, uh, spider? It was a spider. Wait, you don't want to kiss a spider? Why? I mean, why wouldn't, why wouldn't you? It's I mean, a it demon spawn. No. Like the sound often heard during the spaceship find... To uh, speak, the search for a hard to find word would be E R, -er, er, which is a sound. Spy, -er. spy is a hidden person. Spy, -er. spider, -er. 
The end. So then they find the cup and Cedric is like, let's do it together. And so they do. And then the cup is actually a port key. They go to the graveyard where Voldemort's dad is buried and Wormtail is there doing shit and Voldemort is like a eaty dick baby. He really is, yeah. And then they kill the spares. Which is Cedric. Cedric does. Mm. They like take some of Harry's blood. They dig up like the bones of Voldemort's dad. Yeah. What if I just called Voldemort Thomas from now? I think yes, because that's an insult to Voldemort. Because he wanted us to be his father. So, so yeah. Thomas um, is now back inside a body. So then he wants to like duel Harry as the idiotic villain will do. He's 14. Um, it is 14. Yeah, he's not that. He's not that smart. He tries to imperial him. And then he tries to abata cadaver him. So, uh, so then he ends up back at the cup, which is a portkey. So Dirk's like, take my body back to my dad. And we don't. I was like, hoping to skip that part. My boy. My boy. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah. So he ends up back. Um. And everyone's like, oh, what the fuck? And so Harry's like, he's back. He's back, Voldemort, and, um... Nobody believes him! Nobody believes him! Um, he has a corpse with him, and nobody believes nobody him! Nobody believes him, because the wizards are fucking idiots! Joe um, Chang is crying. Yeah. Moody takes him and uh, brings him to a place. What is it? His office? His office yeah. yeah. And he tries to, like, question him to figure out what happened. Like, if you don't catch on to how sketchy he's being, then, like, I don't know what to say to you. Yeah, so they're super sketchy, and eventually it comes out that he was taking college potion. He was the one who was taking all the shit from Snape's cupboard, which throw back to, like, an hour ago. So then everyone figures out, oh, Moody is actually Barty Crouch Jr. Winky definitely throws him under the bus. She doesn't want to, but she does. She does. I opened to the page. Um, she is like... She's like, fuck you. But mm-hmm. in elf ways. So um, she's probably, like, stabbing herself repeatedly mm-hmm. in the gut. Like, oh, no. Dead. No. He gets arrested. Yeah, that's that's what they it. So they find the real Moody at the bottom of, like, a trunk. Which is very elaborate. He was not doing constant vigilance. He'll be fine, according to Madame Pompey. He'll be alright. He's just tired, he according just, to this book. He just needs to drink a little bit. Uh, don't we all? Them saying goodbye, like all those schools are going back to where they were from. They kind Harry of end did. it. Yeah. That's the end. That's really the Harry end of it. Back to his abusive family. As he does every other book. Mm-hmm.